luckily, but at the time we didn't think it was fortunate, there was a writer strike in 1960, I believe. And we were at Four Star. We were story editors on a television series there, a mystery show called Michael Shane. And our uh, guild, the Writers Guild, went out on strike. And uh, we couldn't go to the office. We couldn't write. We found out, clever devils that we were, that you could write for live television. And there was one show called the Chevy Mystery Hour. It was on Sunday nights on uh, NBC. It was a summer replacement for a very popular show with a very popular American singer. I don't know if you knew her in Germany called Dinah Shore. And it was a summer replacement. So we realized we could write an hour mystery. They were all one shots. It was not a series of running characters. Each one was separate. We could write a script uh, for the Chevy Mystery Show. And we were, it was legal. Uh, we weren't breaking uh, our contract with, uh, with uh, the Writers Guild. So we went back to New York, which we loved anyway, and uh, we rented a big apartment. In those days before we were married, we were rooming together. We rented a big apartment, 72nd and Broadway, of a famous director then, uh, Stuart Rosenberg, who, who, who directed Cool Hand Luke and a lot of other uh, good movies. And... That's when we sat down to create an hour anthology show for the Chevy Mystery uh, uh, series. And in college, we had read Dostoevsky's great novel, uh, Crime and Punishment. And it was a cop uh, in Crime and Punishment named Petrovich, who really has this duel of wits with the student, Raskolnikov. Um, who considers himself sort of a uh, ubermensch, um, and he can even commit murder, and because of his exalted state, he should be able to get away with it. And the cop goes after him, and they have a duel of wits in the book. But Dick and I both read the book in college, and that character, for some reason, stuck in our heads and resurfaced that summer in New York City, because we needed a cop. We had a murdering psychiatrist who who commits what he thinks is a perfect murder. And in comes this uh, police detective. And that was really the birth of Columbo. So we wrote the hour script. It was called Enough Rope. Uh, because if you, know, if you give someone enough rope, they'll hang themselves. That was the premise. And which is what the cop does with the uh, psychiatrist. Lloyd Fleming was his name. Uh, and uh, wrote the script. Everything in that script is still in Colombo. The raincoat, the cigar, uh, the one more thing, talking about the wife, all the relatives that you never see, uh, the absent-mindedness, the, the, uh, he's bad with inanimate objects, he never has a pencil, uh, he's a little clumsy, doesn't carry a gun. All that was in that script. That was the template. And uh, we immediately sold it for the Chevy Mystery Series. The strike was over in five and a half months. We came back out here and uh, we watched them rehearse it at Burbank, NBC in Burbank. It was on a Sunday night. And then uh, a few years later, we adapted it as a stage play, which was very successful. But that was the birth of Columbo, that hot summer in New York City in Stuart Rosenberg's apartment. 